This is a series of real estate drive arounds with Alex P. Williams Real Estate in the St. Petersburg and Clearwater area. If you're ever thinking about buying real estate, commercial or residential in this area, please don't hesitate to give me a call. And here's a little bit about this area. Hello fine people, let's take a ride around Sunset Beach, which is a part of Treasure Island. It's the southern tip, right off Blind Pass Road. Let me turn the camera around here. A little history of Sunset Beach, which is at the western shore of Pinellas County, Florida, about 10 miles west of St. Petersburg. Most of Sunset Beach, which makes up the southern third of the island, did not exist in the 1800s. After the formation of Johns Pass in 1848, Blind Pass destabilized and migrated to the south. Concurrently, a split on the southern end of the Treasure Island extended and Sunset Beach was created. These aerial photos show a morphologic evolution of the island from 1926 to 1975. Of the three main Treasure Island beaches, Sunshine and Mid-Island, Sunset Beach is primarily a residential neighborhood, mid-century fishermen cottages mixed with lush Key West style homes between the Gulf of Mexico and Boca Ciega Bay. From the southern end of Sunset Beach, you can look directly across at Blind Pass at Upham Beach in St. Pete Beach. Sunset Beach, uh, located on the southern tip of Treasure Island, is a beach lovers community straight out of a Jimmy Buffett song. On Sunset Beach, you'll find uniquely decorated houses, tiki huts, white sands, and beachfront bars where bohemian attitudes prevail. Little known fact, Sunset Beach was once a separate town. It was annexed into Treasure Island in 1955. Why should you go to Sunset Beach? Or why buy property on Sunset Beach? Well, for the sunsets, of course but also for the live and let lives attitudes, which makes this the ultimate place to discover your inner beach bum. Right now there are 30 properties for sale on Sunset Beach from 208,000 to $3 million, and none of the owners are wearing shoes. Flip flops maybe. As a matter of fact, my friend owns a property called Flip Flop Flats, and I'm the flip flop realtor, and not because my political views change over time. The $208,000 property that's available is a condominium. The first 16 out of the 30 properties for sale are condos from $208,000 to $625,000. The $208,000 condo is a 1-1 and the 16th condo is a 2-2 for 625. There's a great home in the market at $625,000 right now, the lowest price home and it's a beautiful 2-2 uh, 221, two bedroom, two bath, one partial bath at 1200 square feet on 80th Terrace. Only four homes in total for sale right now at 625,000 to 3 million. The $3 million property is a six bedroom, four bath, two partial baths at 3,400 square feet, which could be considered uh, to be two homes. It, it's two separate structures. So you can live in one and rent out the other two homes right behind the other. In the last uh, 30 days, four properties have sold from 395,000 to 1 million, with one being a condo at 610,000. However, there are 12 pending sales right now. This is Caddy's on the Beach, which is one of the restaurant bars on the beach, Can pretty, probably the, the only one. The other one across the street is called Katiki's, featuring music seven days a week, actually 365 days a year. They have live music there. It's a pretty popular spot. Once again, here's some, here's some sunset uh, photographs that, that I took over time uh, coming up. If you would like to look at some property on Sunset Beach or in Treasure Island or anywhere in Pinellas County, please give me a call at 727-418-1570, Alex P. Williams Real Estate. Thank you so much for riding with me today. If you have any questions on the properties that I mentioned, give me a call. 
and have a great week. Thank you.